Plaintiff Tanea Dufoa says she and the defendant were best friends, and he was the first person Tanea came out to when she was 15 years old. Tanea claims one day after she and the defendant got into an argument over a cheeseburger, the defendant cut her off on the road, caused an accident, and fled the scene. She's suing for her car damages. Defendant Nathan Harston admits that he and Tanea were good friends and claims they were even robbed together at gunpoint. Nathan claims his friendship with Tanae started going downhill once she began dating her new girlfriend. Start with you. Well, I met the defendant back in high school. We've been friends, best friends, for seven to eight years now. He was, I was 15 years old. He was actually one of the first people I came out to. He supported me fully. Um, ever since then, we've been inseparable. Everything he does, I like. He was like twins from another mother. If he fight, I fight. He swing, I swing. It was just that type of relationship. And sometimes we fall each other, and that's what comes with a package of best friends. Um, later, I'll say April 28th of How this year. How much fighting have you all done? Um, with other people in particular? I would say quite a bit, you know, not average. Where you all from? From Chicago, but we reside in Mass, Illinois. You don't fight in Chicago. People don't fight no more. You all didn't yeah, know. Yeah, that, that was back in You're high not school. watching television. They don't fight anymore. They're killing 15 year olds, and you all out here fighting. And that's the whole issue is about conflict and about the inability to resolve conflict in a peaceful way without guns that have been dumped all over the city. And here you all want to fight. You give me some background on yourself. Um, yeah, like she said, we've known each other for a good seven to eight years. When you mentioned Tanae, you saw Nate. And, like, we've been in a lot of situations together. We went club hopping, you know, partying. And we almost, it was a situation where we almost lost our lives together. Me and Tanae, we were walking down the street. And it was like a group of gentlemen. So we both had the biggest pair of earrings. She had the biggest pair, and I had the biggest pair. So next thing you know, we just we're walking, and I feel some hands on my ears. I'm like, whoa! And then I turn to look to her. She has a gun on her back, and a person is um, taking her earrings off. I got cut with a knife on my hand, and things of so that sort. So I had to run. But you know, knowing that that's my friend, you know, you never leave your friend, and regardless, so. The situation, even with the hostile environment, you know, gun and that, I still return back to the scene because I just couldn't leave nobody I came with there by mm -hmm. themselves. That's just not me. Family, regardless, friends, family, we all want. And they just changed their mind or what happened with the uh, criminals who um, were robbing you? They, they just said, ah, never mind. Um, to be honest, he knew I'm defendant. He actually fled the scene. I was the only one there. He did leave me. He did not stay due to it. But I wouldn't want him to stay because it was a lot of guys on him. So it was it was about that you got that you gotta get out that jam. So um it was actually I kinda told I told him, let's not let's not go on this side of the neighborhood. We're not wanted here. I and mean, we're not we're not supposed to be here, you know? Knowing Nathan, I ride with him, that's my best friend. He kept insisting that we go on this particular block. And I kept telling him, like, look. We shouldn't be here. This is not our block, and we shouldn't be here. Nathan wanted to be a hard head, so he kept walking and kept going. I let him walk ahead, you knowing like for like five minutes, and I'm like, let me just go and follow behind him, cause I'm not gonna leave my best friend. So we went over there. Next thing you know, if I feel like it's a setup, so I tell Nathan like, look, we shouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? Like he said, we you were. You eyes to the game. He a square. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I was telling him, we are wearing the biggest earrings. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then we shouldn't be here. So and when you see somebody that's less than fortunate and they see somebody with a lot of goods on, they go on one in. So once thing you know, they set us up for like 15 minutes being there and then everything happened. Yes, a gun was pulled to my back, actually several guns, because they know I'm an athlete and I can run. As far as him, they didn't want to hurt me because I'm still a, wim a woman at the same time. So they just told me, look, stand here. And, and I took them off myself. Nobody touched me. I took them off myself. So they and, did take the... Yeah, yeah they did okay, take the air so and stuff. That's why they left. All and right. then he left. He got some uh, neighbors put him in a car and Left. We've been in a lot of situations together. We were at club hopping, you know, partying. And we almost, it was a situation where we almost lost our lives together. Me and Tanae, we were walking down the street and it was like a group of gentlemen. And then I turned to look to her. She has a gun on her back and a person is taking her earrings off. I got cut with a knife. Defendant Nathan Harston says he and the plaintiff used to be close friends and they were once robbed together at gunpoint. You from the street, sir? Yes. You street kid? Somewhat. All right, how many times you been arrested? Maybe twice. For what? 
three. Um, battery robbery, shooting somebody. Batteries. Fighting. Yes. And you think you're a street kid when you fight with your hands? Yeah, you're naive to the streets. You'll be the first one to get killed. Uh, a non-street kid want to be down in the street because you've been watching it from out the window or on a rap video. You want to be, you know, I can tell you don't have any street in you. None. Zero. So you need to be who you are. A young kid who goes to college or a community college or the trade school and get out of the environment of the tough street guys who robs you, robs you. What you suing him for, ma'am? I'm suing the him the for the damages. Car to damages. How did he cause damages to your car? Um, uh, April 28th, we went through a, a drive through line, and uh, I was with my godson and my girlfriend, Nathan, as well, in the back seat. So I got my godson some ice cream. My former girlfriend got bought her own food with her own car, and I bought me something to eat. I didn't offer Nathan nothing to eat, nor did he ask me that he want to eat, because sometimes Nathan say he ain't got no money, and then 20, 20 minutes later, he's pulling out five, ten dollars. So I didn't ask. So we get in the car and later that uh, evening I drop him off at home and then the next morning I get a bunch of text messages from Nathan, just a bunch of mean, rude text messages like, don't hit my phone no more, on the G, you bogus, we ain't friends no more. So I'm like, where is this all coming from? Because I'm nice and like, I'm very nice to Nathan. I be there for him. I'm a very good friend. So what'd so you find out? I find out that he's mad because I didn't offer him a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. And I feel That's like, true. so now I'm mad. I tell him like, hey, closed mouths don't get fed. So a couple days later, I mean, after that, we got into a little argument, but a couple days later, we see each other in traffic. I see a car speeding from the behind of me until on the side of me. And what do you know, it's Nathan. So I look to the left, he's yelling something out the window that I couldn't understand. So I let the window down and all he's saying, do something, do something. Well, it's over That's a cheeseburger. Not... Yes, over a cheeseburger. Uh, so I'm, he's like, do something, do something. I'm like, I'm a whole female. I'm not finna fight a man, whether my sexuality or whatever. And I'm like, you can gladly fight one of my cousins. Mm -hmm. So as uh, soon as the light turned green and he, Nathan <sighs> proceeded on to the right, switching in two, two lanes and hitting my car and almost hitting another car, causing That's an accident in which he left the scene of the accident. And the police, the accident report was filed on the scene, and which I it. do have. Hear what I'm saying? Uh, and, and I must tell you, I've looked closely and been trying to deal with this gang problem. <laughs> Um, doing whatever I can, including having opposite gangs play basketball against each other in a gym uh, and calling it a safe zone, and they played each other, and nobody got violent or anything else because the whole thing is beefs. It's all, and that's why I've studied this. It's about beefs. It ain't about money. It ain't about drug sales. Some of it is, but the majority of it is things people would fight about. They now shoot about it. You look at my girl. I heard you hit on my girlfriend. I heard you say something. What you looking at me like that for? Am I right or wrong? No, you're right, Arnold. Yeah, that's what they all about. These little beef over a cheeseburger. Well, now, why ain't you getting my cheeseburger? Why ain't you getting me no cheeseburger? You, you disrespected me. That's what they say. Why you, why you disrespect me? Nobody disrespect you. What you want to do? Boom. Over a cheeseburger. Fighting. Let me hear your side, sir. Um, okay, so, you know, when she told you about the situation, about us getting robbed, so six to seven months later, she introduced, she had a girlfriend. So, you know, I don't intertwine between people's relationships and things of so that sort. But I felt as if so she was starting to treat me different and so her girlfriend was maybe putting, telling her stuff about me, things about me, and basically a person is gonna end up soaking that in so I paid attention and kind of noticed, like, okay, she's acting kind of different. So, you know, let me fall fall back and maybe let her, you know, do her thing and maybe I could come back and see, like, what's what the, what's really up, you know? So then with the drive-through, that, that ended up and led to the drive-through situation about the cheeseburger because we pulled up to oh, the so restaurant. you all were already mad with each other. Is that what you're saying? An elephant Before in the, the room. Cheeseburger? Okay. Okay, it was the elephant in the room, a lot of unhidden tension, things so. When so the cheeseburger issue came, that really set you off. Okay, yeah, that was like mm -hmm. the, the icing on the cake. So let's get to this accident. How did you all end up being in the same vicinity in the car? 
Okay, I saw her. I saw her drive past my house mm -hmm. well, by Walgreens, that's, mm -hmm. which is located by my house. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, maybe um, the situation is calm and settled down. So I'm like, maybe she's ready to talk. So we're parallel to each other. You don't have is... her number anymore? Um, not really. What do you mean, not really? Either you he had or you didn't. No, because he switched you her number. You can't go to jail. You don't even know. You'd better not do any wrong. You don't <laughs> even know how to answer the judge. Go ahead. Okay, so. Then when Instead, I, you got in your car mm -hmm. to chase her. Well, it wasn't really chasing her. I, I was around my house, so I was you doing my day. You wanted to do day. what then? Why did you get in your car to find because her? Because I was doing my day. I wasn't, I wasn't going to find her. I was hopping in my car to do my daily routine, but so happily, she was by my house. Defendant Nathan Harston says he and the plaintiff used to be close friends, and they were once robbed together at gunpoint. Tell me what happened when you all came upon each other, and if you were side to side, how did that happen? She said it happened because, as you admit, you got in the car and you chased her down with the car. Did you come up beside her? Yes. We were then what happened? And then, so that's when words were exchanged, and she, I said, were well, you ready to talk? Were well, you ready to talk? And she threatened me, and that's when I had hurried up and just started to drive really fast. And then I cut and made a, a got in the right hand lane, and that's when she sped up, and then she hit the back of my car, and then I didn't stop yeah, because I was... jumped in front of her. What happened? Did the police come? This report yes, doesn't show me scene. much. This looks as if you went down to the station right and here. filed well, it. All right. For you. Did you talk with the police, or what was the result of all this? Was anyone ticketed? Yeah. Did anyone go to jail? What yes. happened? Yes, I went. To, you I went, went to jail, jail. for what? For the police came, they arrested me and said I, my car was involved in the hit and run situation. Uh -huh. But it shouldn't have been because at the end I of the day, I understand. So what happened at when you got to jail? Were you exonerated? Did you defend it and you were acquitted? What happened? Uh, they um got they gave me a ticket for I have them right here. So that you must have admitted guilt. Well, well they found for, you guilty. It was for leaving the scene of the accident with damage. And you were found guilty? Yes. Uh, right the court disposal right here. You don't even know that, huh? You don't even know whether you were found guilty or not. Let's I believe see so, because you see, well, no, You don't even know when you are guilty when you go to court. All right, certified statement of disposition. Pled guilty, found guilty. Supervision, all right. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. You pled guilty. I just want to say that I am nobody's sugar daddy, and I wouldn't be spoiling a Chucky doll if I was. With this situation, what's going on, that possibly we could maybe become friends, possibly, once again, but I probably doubt that in the future.